Three different drainage areas contribute flow to their respective sewers, which then all lead to pipe four. Using the given information below, find the time of concentration that should be used for the design of pipe four in minutes. Over here we can see drainage area one leading to pipe one, area two leading to pipe two, and area three leading to pipe three. All of these pipes then lead into pipe four. Down here we can see the time of concentration for each drainage area, as well as the pipe length and pipe velocity for the corresponding pipes leading away from each drainage area. And our objective is to find the time of concentration used for pipe four. So this problem is very easy if you know what the time of concentration is. And if you don't know what the time of concentration is, you can look on page 377 of the reference manual where it defines it as the time required for the runoff to travel from the hydraulically most distant point of the watershed to the point of interest. And it also even notes that multiple watersheds may require summation of times to determine an overall time for the system. That actually doesn't apply to this problem and would apply more if one drained to two, which then drained to a pipe. But what we do have to do here is decide to sum up all of the times from pipe area one to pipe one, area two to pipe two, area three to pipe three, and figure out which of those is the longest, as that will be the time of concentration to be used for the design of pipe four. So let's get to it. Um, the total time for each area is going to be the time of the drainage area plus the time in the sewer. And that's all it's going to be. So let's start. So A1 draining to P1, we'll say, equals 15 minutes for the drainage area plus 400 feet over 2 feet per second. And if we then divide also, or shall I say multiply by one minute over 60 seconds, both of these units will end up in minutes because feet over feet over seconds brings seconds to the top. Seconds and seconds here will cancel out to get minutes. So doing the math for this one gives us 18.33 minutes. A2 to P2 equals 20 min plus 450 feet over 3 feet per second. Again, let's convert our seconds into minutes. And that will give us 22.5 minutes. And then finally we have A3 to P3 and that's going to give us 25 minutes to drain out of the basin or rather that was the longest time for the entire basin to contribute and 400 feet again over this time is 4 feet per second one minute over 60 seconds and that's going to give us 26.67 minutes now our closest answer over here is going to be 27 the other answers that came out are the other two drainage areas um, and finally just the amount of time coming from the pipe for pipe 3 so as long as you don't fall for any of that and you recognize that the time of concentration is the longest time for this pipe among all of the contributory areas and pipes, that's really all this question's testing you on.
and that's all there is to solve this problem.